Hey guys, good morning. It is about 10.30, we just got home. It was kind of a hectic morning, as most mornings are in this house. Um, but got ready, got everything packed up. Andres was here this morning, so it was a little bit easier, but it was still on the hectic side. Um, got the, all the girls and stuff ready, packed up Maddie's bag. Left, we made it right on time for her swim class. And Autumn was like, so she swam, did good, fine. I have, when I have to take them places, I have so many moving parts. And for those of you that have, even just one child, children come with so much stuff, so much stuff. So it's like I have a diaper bag, I have Maddie's swim bag, I have to make sure all her stuff is in there. She brought all her stuff. She has things to change into. Emmy didn't come with anything today, but she comes normally with stuff too. And... It's so much moving, so many moving pieces that I had my hydro flask because I was thirsty because I had to eat my sandwich on, on the road, my breakfast sandwich, and, oh, no shoes on the couch, let's take these off. Forgot what I was saying. You see, my brain is like <laughs> scrambled because everyone's pulling me everywhere. But I, oh, I had to eat on the road because we were running late. I had my hydro flask to stay hydrated. I had my purse. I left my hydro flask in the change room. I didn't realize till we got home. We got home and I was like, dang, I left my water bottle at the thing. And it was full of water and I use it. I need it for work tomorrow. I'm just like, great. I wasn't planning on leaving the rest of the day. I really wasn't. Now I have to go back out if I want my hydro flask before Monday. Luckily they found it. I am grateful for that because those things are expensive and I have mine personalized. So luckily they found it and it was, they put it at the front desk so it could be worse. But now I have to go back out there at some point. But we had to come home. And I didn't realize it until we got home because her therapist will be here any minute. So anyway, we're here playing. And I'm just, I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to breathe before I blame the wrong person because it was totally my fault. I left it there. I'm responsible for all my things. But it just, you know, it's one of those days where it's like, really? Really? <laughs> So, yeah, now we're home. Oh, there's something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I forgot. I'm, like I said, my brain is scattered today. Hmm. The girls are having lunch, PB&Js with the cheese stick and some apples. Autumn's having the same thing, although she's not eating her PB&J. Oh, Maddie's not having apples. Um, but I am prepping my lunch for today and lunch for tomorrow at work and I get a lot of questions about spaghetti squash it's something that people don't a lot of people don't buy because they're maybe intimidated of it or whatever so all I do is I slice it it comes like this you buy it by the pound so this one is I don't know probably six or seven dollars worth um, so I have an extra one here but all I do is cut it down the middle and there are seeds, kind of like a pumpkin or something in it. All I do is I take a spoon and hollow it out, hollow out the seeds. But you want to keep, you just want to pull out the seeds, the stringy stuff. The rest of it is actually the squash. So I hollow it out, drizzle some olive oil. All I had was avocado oil, but olive oil is what I usually do. Drizzle some salt and pepper, and then I put whatever kind of spices I want on it. So salt and pepper is a must. Uh, at least a little bit of salt. Maybe maybe not a whole lot, but a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I like a lot of pepper. And then I put garlic powder, onion powder, and some parsley flakes on top. That's just what I prefer, but you could put anything. And then I put it in my little toaster oven. If you're cooking more of these at once, you can put it in the regular oven. But I usually put it in my toaster oven for about 25, 30 minutes, just until it's nice and soft and you can pull apart this and when I'm pulling it apart I'll show you what it looks like and how I do it okay this is what they look like when they're done like I said you just kind of cook it into your own personal preference I've cooked them longer before and I've cooked them for less time and I like them either way so these were in there on 450 on the toast setting for about 30 minutes or so and they look ready so I eat half of one at a time I'm having some burgers that we had left over from the other night and all I'm going to do I'm going to try and show you guys this but all I do is take a fork take this and you see this all this here that's the squash so I just take it and peel it from its sides and dump it on my plate and like I said I eat I usually eat a half of one at a time. I've used this with ground 
turkey ground beef before with some marinara sauce and it although to me it still just kind of tastes like my battery died so I didn't get to finish show, telling you but or showing you but I literally just scraped it all out and it makes about two cups it just depends this one's a little bit bigger a little thicker than that one so this one will probably make a little more but I will eat that whole thing and it's very filling very delicious and pretty low in carbs and then I just pair it with some meat or like I said I've done ground beef with sauce I've done pesto over it it's really good the girls Emmy likes it Maddie's not a huge huge fan just because she knows what it is um, but prior to her knowing what it is it's more of a texture thing for her it's definitely an acquired texture because it's not it's almost a little crunchy so it's an acquired texture but so she's not a huge fan of it Emmy will eat it though and Andres he tolerates it but I like it <laughs> which is why I buy them for me cook them two at a time and I will leave this just like this let it cool down pop it in the fridge and then I'll heat it up tomorrow at work and then do the same thing shred it at work and take some I don't know burgers or something to go with it so yeah if you've never tried it before at least try it before you knock it We've literally done nothing today, but I did make a huge salad for dinner. I'm having some in Autumn's bowl. And I had to wait for Andres to get home because I had a jar of sauce and I'm making flat out pizzas, which everybody loves. All I had was pesto. So typically I'll do like half with a marinara sauce with um, mozzarella cheese and some pepperoni. But I opened up the sauce that I had and it had mold in it. Like how does that even happen? I have no idea. It was in the pantry. I just bought it a couple weeks ago and it doesn't expire till next year. It must have had like a crack or something in it. I didn't even notice if the pop was topped. Or no, the top was popped. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't notice if the cap was like the lid was popped or not. Um, that may have been what it was. But sure enough, I opened it and there was a mold in it. So I'm using up the rest of my flat out on uh, the girls so that they could start eating. I put some basil pesto mozzarella cheese and then I did one with pepperoni one without and then the huge salad and now that my hand is home we're making ours like I said I literally did nothing today I take that back I did edit the Disney souvenir haul so that is up on the channel right before this one I don't think I'll have a video up tomorrow other than the regular vlog so maybe it's two before this one because you will have seen a vlog yesterday and they say I don't know time warp time travel is like crazy so go check that out if you haven't seen it I'm about to start on my salad is that yummy yeah you like it you see yourself huh <laughs> is it good it's really good y'all ate all you ate all your salad Maddie I'm thinking about getting some of the pizza and the salad Mm. I'm gonna go help you stop. Yeah. Say good night. See you tomorrow. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Say night, night. Say night, night. <laughs> you did a goofa. Say night, night. Night, night. Say night, night. <laughs> good night, goofy. Night night, mamas. Good night. Can I? Night night. Nah. Can I see them tomorrow? So I think she's still like getting out her uniforms. She's trying on uniforms. I told her to go change. Yeah. And she could come out and say good night. You almost done, mama? Yes, mommy. Okay. She'll come out. Mm -hmm. Night night. Good night. <laughs> oh, hi. <hugs. laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow. I always say good night to her, but I don't. She always says good night tomorrow, so I will say it for both of them. Good night. See you tomorrow. For. Good night. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Boop. Everyone is in bed. I was having Emmy try on. Oh, it's cold in here. All of a sudden, I was having Emmy try on her uniforms and. I ended up, I went with the bigger size on her pants, her shorts and her pants because the eight just looked a little too snug in the belly area and I wanted her to have a little bit of room. She doesn't even start school for a month and then on top of that, you know, like her shorts especially, I wanted to see if we could have them last 
until the end of the school year. I don't know that that'll happen. We'll see. It just depends. But the tents are, are really big. They're kind of long and a little baggy. I was thinking it would just be the waist. Like comparing them to the eight, it was literally an inch on the waist and then like an inch on the leg. But they look so much more different on her. So I'm kind of like, mm, I'm regretting getting the bigger size a little bit. But I didn't want to get the smaller size and then in a few months have to repurchase. So I don't know. We'll see. Luckily, I have their seat. If anything, I can always go check out a different store. Maybe um, like the Children's Place or Old Navy's pants fit a little bit better. And I can just return the ones from Target. Not a huge deal. So yeah, we were doing that. And that was about it. I edited the vlog, which was a long one, so hopefully you guys don't mind, mind that that today is short. I have to go to work tomorrow, and I'm tired. It's 9, 10, and I'm already, like, ready for bed. So I'll probably lay down. I have been watching Riverdale, and I have... I got Hulu! Ah! <laughs> so I'm excited. I have a few shows on my list. I actually want to see if This Is Us is on Hulu, because I've been wanting wa wanting to watch that. Haven't watched it yet. Uh, Hand, Handmaid's Tale... Is that what it's called? Something like that. A lot of you guys recommended. I have that on my list. I'm going to finish up Riverdale first. It was on the CW. I knew it was. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. But I like it. It's a good show so far. I'm about halfway through the first season. The one thing that I find strange about it, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but a lot of the characters have double initials, like Archie Andrews, um, that's like really the only thing uh Geraldine Grundy I think her name is like a lot of them I think I've heard five four or five at least with double initials like AA GG I heard somebody with a CC name and I'm just like that's very strange I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why maybe they explain it or maybe they probably don't explain it. Maybe I could look it up somewhere, but I just thought that was kind of strange. So I don't know who killed Jason yet. Don't tell me. I know we find out in season one because I saw that on Facebook. But yeah, so far that's a good show. I have a few others on my list, but I think after I read all of y'all's comments, seriously, hundreds of you do not have cable, <laughs> which is crazy to me. And in my day-to-day -day life, there are a lot of people that don't have cable. I just, I grew up with cable. I've always been a TV junkie. I love shows. I love, and the desk likes it too. Like we have so many shows together that we watch, but there are so many other outlets that you can watch TV shows on. I just really have to take the time to sit down and make a list of all the shows that I have recording on my DVR. Cause you know, some like 90 day fiance, for instance, those things record and then the next time the season comes on it records again it's not like i remember that the season's on it just automatically records it so i'll have to make a like a master list of all the shows that are being recorded so that way i can keep track of it and find them on hulu or we also have a fire stick that was something else uh, somebody said to get so we have Amazon Prime we have a fire stick we have Apple TV which just plays things like Netflix we have Netflix Hulu now so that's cool so I'm pretty sure we're stocked on all of the things that you need to get rid of cable and I'm hoping it cuts our cable bill by $150 at least at this point so I'm gonna call and find out over the weekend but like I said I work tomorrow so I'm going to bed <laughs> but thank you guys so so much for all of the feedback I cannot stop yawning which means it is my time so hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we'll see you tomorrow